I hope you're really, really excited to learn some new awesome things this week in week eight. Today, we are going to learn about magnetism. Whoa! So, let's test the magnetism of objects. I have a uh, magnet over here from my fridge. Um, I have a metal uh, dumbbell used uh, for gymming um, and for the, the muscles. Um, and so let's see if I can uh, lift the. Let's see if I can lift the. Let's see if I can lift the. Ah, oh, it's not working. So, boys and girls. Um, why did that happen? Well, magnetism uh, is affected by two aspects. The strength of the magnet and the weight of the object. So the heavier the, heavier the object is, then the magnet won't be affected. However, uh, the stronger the magnet, then obviously the more attracted the two objects will be. So magnetism is all about the attraction between one object to the other. So this object, is it attracted to this object? And can it, um, how strong is the magnetism? And that's all to do with weight and uh, the amount of magnetism. So like I said, I try to lift it and obviously the magnetism is not strong enough. However, if I take the weight, and I, oh, and there we go. The magnet is attracted. So it actually was uh, attracted to the uh, weight. However, the weight was too heavy in terms of lifting it with this magnet, but then I could lift it with the weight. Very interesting. Okay, so boys and girls, let's now look at the magnetism of different types of object. Like I said, I have a magnet and I have six different objects. I then have made uh, myself a table, so I've written the objects on the left hand side, so starting from metal spoon, then peg, nail, torch, uh, it's, I labelled it labello, but it's a lapice, um, and a spanner, okay. Um, I then have written a column called attracted, and that means that the object does have mag uh, magnetism and then I have not attracted. Now in theory all the metals should be attracted so it does have magnetism and the non-metals should not be attracted so it should not have any magnetism. All right so we're gonna have a look and see so um, and then what we can do is we can actually tick off each section. So uh, if you have these objects pause the video and then follow with me um, and tick off on your own uh, uh, table on a piece of paper. If you don't, then you can just make the table and follow the video. All right, so let's get started. A metal spoon, let's have a look here. So I've got my magnet. Oh, and it's lifting. Okay, so it lifted uh, uh, to a point and so therefore it does have magnetism. As you saw, um, the strength was, I'd say, about medium. Um, so you can also uh, explain how strong the magnetism were, is or how well attracted they were to each other. So there we go. So, uh, metal spoon, I'm gonna tick, attracted. Okay. Um, peg, so I've got a peg here, okay. Um, I'm there now going to Okay, there is no magnetism uh, Well, let me see if the peg if I can use the peg like with the weight and There is no magnetism. All right, so uh, Peg because it's made of plastic therefore non-metal it is 
has no magnetism, it is not attracted. All right, here is a nail. Let's have a look if a metal nail is attracted. Ooh, okay, there we go. Metal nail, definitely strong magnetism. Could you see there how it immediately lifted? Strong magnetism, okay. Let's do the torch. So this is very thin uh, uh, chrome metal, so very, very thin. And um, let's see if this is, so it's metal, so it, it should be attracted, should have magnetism. Okay, it's not uh, attracting, so I'm going to see if the torch can lift it. Okay, interesting. This was a, a surprise one. No magnetism. Okay, I actually uh, ticked on the wrong side for the nail. All right, the labello, uh, it's not metal. It's non-metal, so it shouldn't be attracted. All right, so not attracted. And then lastly, the uh, spanner. Okay, so it's not it's not working in terms of the magnet onto the spanner. However, let me see the, the spanner. Oh, could you hear that click? That is the sound of magnetism. The two connected. So this spanner is, uh, um, has magnetism. It is attracted. <laughs> and so there we go. All right, boys and girls, so that is magnetism in terms of metals and non-metals. And so as you can see, um, you have certain objects that have magnetism and you have certain objects that do not. So either they are attracted or not attracted. And remember, the strength of the magnetism depends on the size of the object and what type of metal you are dealing with, because that will determine the strength of the magnetism. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you've had a fantastic lesson and I shall see you soon.